A state of uneasiness and anxiety pervades within certain ranks of the military as a result of the reappointment of a former chief of staff to his old post and to offshoot resignation of the OIC defense chief and seven other DND officials. Still, the appointment of former Westman commander and ex-vaccine czar Charlie Galvez to DND chief is a move expected to quell military restlessness as we hear the full report from PTV's Daniel Manalastas. For Senator Jingoy Estrada, the alleged rumbling in the armed forces of the Philippines is possibly a hunch or rumor following that information spread on social media last weekend. Baka naman nakakahaka lang yung mga rumblings niya sa AFP. Mm-hmm. Kaya mo na pumabaltaan. Eh, nasa, nasa social media lang yung mga rumblings. Mm-hmm. Rumblings, 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 rumblings niya. But the Senator will convene a hearing next week regarding the amendment of Republic Act No. 11709 or the law for the fixed term of eligible officers in the armed forces. They plan to adopt the House version which has already passed the third reading before the Christmas break and is certified urgent by the President. Well, it might help because ano eh, dito sa original, dito sa Republic Act, mm. Yung mga nasa magpapang pwesto, yung mga kernels, hindi magagalaw pag uh, in-implement mo yung patas, hindi mapopromote. So, uh, inamendahan ng House itong batas nito. As for Senator J.V. Ejercito, senators are already talking about amending the law. He believes that the appointment of former General Carlito Galvez as Secretary of the Department of National Defense will be a step to unite the AFP. My, my personal opinion is that baka mamaya kasi syempre yung iba, there will be some who will be affected uh, and who got used to the old system na talagang nagkakano, kumbaga na napoprogram o napoforsile napo promotion nila. So there will be others who will not be able to have the opportunity anymore to become chief of staff, ibang class, or ibang, uh, or commanding general of, uh, uh, of the service units. For Senate Minority Leader Coco Pimentel, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. selected a secretary with solid military service credentials. As for Senator Christopher Bongo, Galvez has extensive experience as presidential advisor on peace, reconciliation, and unity. And he is sure that he will be a good contribution to the Marcos Jr. administration. Daniel Manalastas for the Nation.